in the book of Psalms of the Old Testament of the Bible, we have a word that shows up quite frequently. It's not an English word. Uh, we, we render it in English as the word selah, S-E-L-A-H, selah. Uh, different ways people pronounce that, but, but that's, the best, that's one of the ways that we often pronounce it in English. Uh, and so it's there throughout the, throughout the book of Psalms in various ones of these poems is this word. And uh, maybe you've encountered it in your own readings of the scriptures. Perhaps you've, you've come along and you're reading this inspiring poem about God and then Selah. And, uh, and you, you just go on reading it. And so this is part of our series of why is this in the Bible? And so today that's our question. Why do you think the word Selah is in the Bible? Because after all, God ordained every word of the scripture. And so it's there for a reason. Psalm 67. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. That your way may be known on the earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples with uprightness and guide the nations on the earth. Selah. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its produce. God, our God, blesses us. God blesses us, that all the ends of the earth may fear him. So there was that word in the middle of that psalm, the word selah. Uh, what does that word mean? It's, it's Hebrew, but we use it, and it's in the text, and scholars over the centuries have tried to figure out what it means. And honestly, we can only kind of guess because it's, it's, not, it's, it's a bit of a unique word. But there is a sense to it from what, from what I understand in my research is that there's a sense to it that it, it, it means something along the lines of uh, a, a musical or a poetic silence, like a pause or a, a musical interlude. So perhaps if this was be, being sung, there would be some sort of an interlude there. Uh, or what we might say in our modern world, like there's a solo, right? If somebody does a solo. Or the idea of a crescendo, and, and sort of, in, in a sense, the opposite of a silence, or a rise uh, and to, a, to a crescendo point. And, uh, and, and it means something like this, and I suppose to some degree it would be interpretive for the person who was reading the poem. And so as we get through, as we're going through a poem like the one I just read in, in, in Psalm 67, and it gets to that point, then it could be that you get, this is a pause moment where we, we pause and think and reflect, or, or maybe it's an interlude moment where there's just some music playing, or a crescendo moment where we're supposed to be triumphant in what we hear. And, uh, and that's why it's there. Now, it was written, not every psalm has it, and there's a few other uh, places in the scriptures where it, it occurs outside of the psalms, um, but it's there by God's will for a reason. And so, when you're doing your devotions and you're studying the scriptures for yourself and you, you get to these places where you read that word, um, what I would encourage you to do is not to just skip over it as a, as a throwaway word. That's the that seal. I don't know what that means. I'm going to throw it away. Instead, use it the way, the way it was meant to be used. So you're reading along and you get to that point and there's a pause. Take a pause. Think about what you just read. There's a pause. Insert it right there for a reason. I don't know. What you have to look at each individual text to figure out what the reason is, but God put that pause there for a reason. So take the pause, consider it, or maybe it's a moment for there to be just a, a praise moment where you just praise God. You say, well, praise God for what I just read. Or maybe there's a crescendo moment where you're, it's meant to be, yeah, God, this is, this is awesome. And you, and you maybe even vocalize or maybe sing a song or, or whatever the case is, but you take that moment and you pause in order to let the emphasis of what you just read sink in all that much more. And, and that's why seal is there. And so as you do your devotions, I encourage you, take those moments, be worshipful and be silent before the Lord.